What's up randomers? This week we're going to be learning this super awesome runway effect that you can get to utilize in your video. Let's say you're a fashion uh, vlogger and you want to showcase different outfits or you just want to create a cool video to get to showcase to your friends. Well today that's exactly what I'm going to be teaching you by teaching you how to do this effect. For those who are new here, I am Q the Random and I have been doing video and photography for close to 8 years now and I want to pass that knowledge to you. So if you'd like to learn more about photography and video related stuff, make sure to hit that subscribe button, give me a like and share this video. So let's jump on to Premiere Pro and get started with this effect. So a couple of things to note before we can start editing the clip is first thing you have to put the different outfits that you're going to be using in the shoot and then in this case what i did is i wanted it to be vertical so i put my camera to be in a vertical seat i actually did not have a tripod i recommend a tripod if you want to be able to get something that is consistent but if you do not have a tripod it will still work i did have a tripod but i wanted to flip my camera in a vertical sense but my tripod couldn't so i had to put my camera somewhere where i made sure it would not move so you want everything in your scene to remain exactly the same so if you're using a doorway make sure everything around it remains the same that includes the lighting so make sure the lighting is consistent and then you just shoot the different outfits you shoot the first outfit you walk walk in or walk out then go ahead and shoot the second one and just depending on the number of outfits that you have you go ahead and shoot all those ones and then you're ready to go you import everything into premiere pro then you create a sequence and let's name it runway go to the settings and set the frame size to be 1080 by 1920 because we want it to be a vertical video and just like that we have it let's go to the footage and we go to the first clip so that's the first clip i want it to start from around there and end around there so i drag it onto the timeline and i keep existing sequence settings so i want to go to the effects control then on the rotation i select negative 90 so that it comes to how i want it to be in a vertical state and i probably want it to and i want it to start from there so let me just zoom in so that i'm able to see it better and then i want to select mask and i want to mask this entire part so let's just mask this entire do doorway part there also there down there and i join it so that's a part i want to mask out and we go to the mask which is on under opacity select inverted and then what you can see is that's a part which you've masked out so we go to the second clip that we want to use let's just move this to uh, one clip up let's look for the second clip of me walking in I think it's probably this one yes it is that one we grab it and bring it underneath where the mask is going to be starting but remember i've been scaling it up first we set it first to the attrition negative 90 so that it's aligned well then we drag it and remember i've been scaling it up so that i can see it clearly but i'm gonna scale everything down at the end of I'm gonna scale everything down at the end of editing everything so i just drag it to where the mask is starting because actually i wanted to start it from here so let me just check where i wanted to start around there i trim it then i bring it to where the mask is starting and if you play it you'll see that yes it's already started working how i wanted it to work so let's just go through it slowly and yes it fits in perfectly 
So we want to do the same thing for all the other different remaining clips. So we just go the same way and then after that I want to nest everything as you can see. So I have this nested thing that I've already done. Then what I want to add is a few effects. So I want to add some few flares to it and then set the lighting mode to be probably around lighten and then just add it to all the clips. And then what I want to do now is be able to look at all of them, then add the different text that I want to add. And now I have everything set up. Also remember that I have scaled back up to the original position where it was. So remember to do that if you are, you are following this tutorial and then I want to duplicate the same thing and then just join them. And just like that is how I get to create this awesome looping effect of me wearing different outfits that you can get to utilize in your videos to showcase the different things that you have and I have just different things they can even zoom in and be able to zoom out just to add a bit of flair into it and it's as simple as that go ahead try it out and tell me what you think about it in the comments down below and as always if you'd like to learn more about photography and video related stuff make sure to hit that subscribe button give me a like and share this video until next week see you later Random ads.